Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and this week I'm sharing three simple and delicious recipes using Velveeta shells and cheese. And as always, I'll make sure to leave recipe links in the description box. Today we're making Velveeta shells and cheese cheeseburger mac. You are going to need ground beef, your shells and cheese, milk, onion powder, ketchup, mustard, green onions, tomato, and sour cream. All right, so I've already browned my ground beef and to that I'm adding two and a half cups of milk, my mustard, I am adding less mustard than the recipe calls for because my husband is not a huge fan of mustard. My ketchup and my onion powder. And I am just going to give this a stir and let it come to a boil. Okay, so my mixture is simmering away. I'm just gonna add in my pasta. Give it a good stir. And then I am going to cover and let this simmer away for about 10 minutes or until that pasta is tender. So my pasta is finished cooking. Now I'm just adding in that package of cheese and the sour cream. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir. And next I'm gonna mix in the tomato and the green onions. All right, I've got everything all plated up. This recipe is so rich and creamy, it's really good. I did feel like it needed a little bit of saltiness, so I added some cooked and crumbled bacon right on top, and I am serving it with some sauteed broccoli. Today we're making Velveeta Nacho Bake. You are going to need Velveeta shells and cheese, cheddar cheese, crushed tortilla chips, taco seasoning, salsa, sour cream, and ground beef. While my ground beef is cooking away, I have prepared my Velveeta shells and cheese according to package directions. So now I'm adding in my sour cream and I'm just gonna give it a good stir. And now that my meat is finished cooking, I'm just going to sprinkle in my taco seasoning and water as directed on the package and just let it cook a little bit more. Okay, so my taco meat is finished cooking. I have an eight inch um, casserole dish here and I am spreading half of that Velveeta shells and cheese mixture on the bottom. And next, I'm gonna add that taco meat mixture right on top. Now I'm gonna sprinkle it with half of the cheese. And next, I'm gonna add the rest of that mac and cheese mixture. Okay, so now I am going to cover the casserole dish with foil. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake this for 15 minutes. Okay, so I just took the casserole out of the oven. Now I'm just spreading on that salsa, the remaining cheese, and the crushed tortilla chips. And I am going to pop this back in the oven for five minutes uncovered. So here is the casserole hot out of the oven. I'm gonna let this cool for just a few minutes and then I'll get it all plated up. So here is everything all plated up, a quick and easy casserole. It is so good. And I am serving it with some buttered corn that has a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of parsley on top for color. Today's recipe is super easy. It just calls for two additional ingredients. We are making vegetarian cheddar tomato shells and cheese. So I'm starting off by cooking the pasta according to package directions. Okay, so my pasta is done cooking and I drained it and I just put it in a skillet instead of that same pot. I just kind of wanted to spread it out a little bit. And now I'm just adding in that package of cheese sauce. 
Just going to stir it to combine. Now I'm going to add in my can of diced tomatoes. The recipe um, says undrained, but I did drain my tomatoes because tomatoes have a lot of water in them. I'm also adding in my cheddar cheese. And I'm going to add in some garlic powder and onion powder, but that is totally optional. And I'm just gonna give it another good stir. So here is dinner all plated up. I am serving mine with a chopped Caesar salad on the side and some garlic bread. Adding those tomatoes to that macaroni and cheese is a great way to sneak in vegetables for those picky eaters. I hope you all enjoyed all of the Velveeta shells and cheese recipes this week. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps out our channel. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.